First one, zero error. What does it mean by zero error? For example, if I'm using my vernier caliper over here, by right, without clipping in anything, the reading should be zero. But sometimes, probably due to wear and tear, without anything clipping in between the outer draws, they can be a reading. Probably positive, probably negative. It means, without even putting anything, I have already gotten a reading. And after clipping my half meter rule, the measured thickness from this one caliper is actually not accurate. Reason being, without putting anything, there's already a reading. So definitely, no matter how accurate I'm trying to take, how many times you're going to measure and take average off, it still be it will still be larger than the actual reading. So that's why we need to deal with the zero errors. There are two types of zero errors. First one, positive. Second one, negative. So what does it mean by positive zero error? It means without putting anything, we have already gotten a positive reading. So that is called a positive error. So vice versa, if without putting anything, we have already gotten a negative reading. It means if you try to align it make it zero, make it make the reading zero, there will be already a gap. It means no matter what and how much I try to make my reading accurate, the reading will still be smaller. The reading from my money caliber will still be smaller than the actual thickness. So the graph demonstration is over here. For positive, your vernier scale is actually somewhere more than zero. For negative, your warning skill is somewhere smaller than zero. So before using the vernier caliper, we must try to see whether there are zero error or not. How to see it, close it up, and then if the zeros are aligned, no zero error. You are fine to use it. If the vernier caliper is inside, the main scale, it has a positive zero error. If the vernier caliper scale is outside the range of main scale, it has a negative zero error. So how are we going to deal with the zero error? We minus them away. So whatever rating you get in the end, you minus away. For positive, you minus away a positive number. For negative, you minus away a negative number. So let's look at here the notes one more time. For positive zero error, let's look at the graph over here. Without putting anything, we have already gotten a plus 0.15 cm zero error. So later on, no matter what we have, for example, if our final reading is 4.35 cm, we need to use 4.35 minus away the positive 0.15 and 4.20 is our final answer. Okay, and for negative zero error case over here, negative zero error means you have a negative number as the error. So if the final reading is 4.35, we need to minus away the minus number or using our maths, we are actually plusing something plus 0 0.02 or just Take it as always minus away the error, always minus away the error. So if positive, we minus away a positive number. If it's negative, we minus away a negative number, which is equivalent to plus some extra number. Okay. So, but to be friendly, to be user friendly, we just stick to minus away. Error can be either positive or negative, but dealing with error, we always minus them away. So eventually, the actual rating is 4.37. So can you see that although we have the same rating 4.35 cm, but if we have a positive zero error, we minus away, we get something shorter than 4.35, 4.20. If we have a negative zero error, we minus away, we have 4.37, which is actually longer than the rating itself. Okay, so these are zero errors.